Hi everyone, in today's video I'm going to be doing a full face of Burt's Bees makeup. I placed a huge order, Wilma, Wilma really wants me to play with her. I got her like both of the Glossier toys, dog toys, and she's obsessed with them and she wants me to play with her like constantly now. You wanna say hi? Follow her on Instagram, she's so cute. Her name's Willy Nelly Bobelli on Instagram. I picked up two shades of the foundation. I'm going to return whichever one doesn't work, but I am going to try the darker one first. This one is Warm Honey. I'm going to try this one first because this one just looks so light. Like, I don't think that would work. And then this is the other one. But that looks gray, doesn't it? But it's Warm Honey, like how does that make sense? Well, that doesn't look too bad. That looks okay. I already have moisturizer on. I'm using the Ordinary Moisturizer. That's a little light. I think I watched a review where someone was complaining about the scent. I don't think the scent is bad at all. Okay, this isn't too terrible it's pretty light but like i can definitely deal with it i'm definitely going to be returning the other shade i don't want to open it though because ulta does throw away the returns um that have been opened so i want to give them the opportunity to like resell it just because i don't want to be like wasteful you know because i'm already so wasteful with like the amount of shopping that i do but also like I've kind of justified it a little bit because like if I buy something then it helps you guys decide if you really need it or not which creates less waste you know like if there's a product that you were wanting to buy and then you saw me use it and decided you didn't want to buy it anymore that's creating less waste right so that's my whole face done and I still have a ton of product left on my hand like that's kind of good. Okay, that's pretty. It's a little bit light, like a shade too light, which I was actually worried that this one was going to be way too dark. I think I saw someone using it and they were like way more tan than I was, but I don't know, maybe I, maybe it was a different shade. I can't imagine this being like a good go-to shade for um, someone with like a deeper skin tone to me. So I also picked up the Burt's Bees concealer. But this looks so weird, like it's pink almost. And this shade is medium dark. I don't... Online too though, it just looked so light. That's like really, really light and it's pink. Okay, it totally does not look pink like on my little viewfinder, but in person it's so pink. Hmm, I don't really like the applicator. I've gotten like a couple of requests to do Burt's Bees makeup, so I'm happy I'm finally getting around to doing it. it honestly, like if one person requests something, I'll freaking do it because I just can't believe that I have people requesting things now, you know? Blend it out on my chin, it doesn't look bad. Let's see. I feel like it just wiped away completely underneath my eyes. How was your makeup thing? It was really good. It's good. Stay. I don't think I like this concealer at all. I'm actually just going to take a little bit of the foundation that we used and I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. Because I feel like it just completely came off. This foundation is pretty though. It had like kind of mixed reviews and it had mixed reviews on YouTube as well. Like I think some people really liked it and some people really didn't like it. I'm definitely going to be putting the shade. This is the shade Neutral Beige by the way. I'm not going to open it and swatch it but like that's what it looks like in the bottle compared to my skin. It's very, very light. I did pick up the Burt's Bees All Aglow Bronzer Stick, but 
it's like really shimmery i don't really know what i was expecting but i actually don't think i'm going to open this or use it i just know that i'm not going to love this product i'm going to go in with the opal mist a glow highlighter and when i did my half drugstore half Glossier video a lot of people recommended that I get this highlight Because it's supposedly a dupe for the halo scope. I don't see it This I'm not getting like any shimmer from this at all looks like Vaseline on my hand. I'm not getting like any shimmer Well Maybe a little. I don't know. I feel like my skin was already glowy. I'm not like impressed. This was weird. I don't think this isn't like there's no shimmer to this. It's just oil kind of. I do want to use a little bit of the Toasted Cinnamon Blush, and I'm going to be using this giant brush. Oop! Very powdery. Very, very powdery. I'm not going to powder my face first. Hopefully that's not a mistake. Oh, pretty. It definitely like is more of a blush than a bronzer, but I feel like it works. Like no one's going to be like, why did this girl put blush all over her face? Oh, kind of like it. I think Kathleen Lights likes this shade. I know she likes one of them. She likes one of the blushes. So when shopping through the Bird's Bees stuff, um, shade selection was definitely like a concern of mine. Obviously like what I was talking about before with the complexion products. I just feel like a lot of these clean beauty brands don't consider women of color like ever and i'm not very well versed in the clean beauty brand world but if there is a brand out there that you guys know of that does go out of their way to be inclusive definitely let me know i would love to try them out i'm next going to go in with the bare peach blush this one right here it's so beautiful i really like how warm cinnamon went on my face um especially considering I don't have any powder on. I feel like you can always tell a really good blush formula, like cheek formulas, when you can blend them out over top of like wet foundation. You know that they're just gonna like go on buttery, you know what I mean? But yeah, definitely let me know if there is a brand out there that is more inclusive, that does the clean beauty thing. Because I just think, like, you know, we sell Juice Beauty at Ulta, and their shade selection is awful. Like, beyond awful. And there is, like, a lot of times where Juice Beauty will go on sale, like, 30% off, whatever. Okay, I love how my skin looks right now. I love it. Like, this is beautiful. This is so pretty. And I can get an additional discount on top of that since I am an employee. But, like... I just don't think that any of those shades would work for me. So yeah, like definitely let me know. For my eyes, I am going to go in with Toasted Cinnamon again. And I'm just going to apply that into the crease. Ooh, sorry the lighting's a bit gray now. I hate that. I hate when I like move angles and then the lighting changes. It's also a little bit cloudy outside today. 
but it's a little cooler. I love the hot weather, but it's just been so hot lately. And I just have so many cute sweaters that I've been wanting to wear. So I got the Blooming Desert Eyeshadow Trio. This was the only one that kind of appealed to me. Their color selection wasn't very spectacular like it like it didn't appeal to me really but I'm just gonna go in with this bronzy shade right here I did get my nails done you guys always ask me about like my nail polish like what nail polish I'm wearing and I don't wear nail polish I get SNS done and I always feel really bad because I never know what to say I'm going to take this shade right here and I'm going to put that on my eyelid. This video is going to come out before my ColourPop one so I guess I'll give you a little bit of an update in this one. It's kind of cute. These shadows are a little bit boring. So I did get my first package on Friday so it took about a week for my first package to get here or like exactly a week which is fine but also I live in a world with Amazon Prime and I just feel like packages should come a little bit faster than a week. And like ColourPop has been a big brand for a while. I feel like their shipping a couple of years ago was like still bad too. If you guys like don't keep up with my community tabs then you wouldn't know this, but I had to place another ColourPop order because the shades that I got in the first order were like way too light after seeing it on like other people. So I just like freaked out and I bought two more shades um, the next day and like that one, that package is like nowhere in sight. Like I don't, I don't even know when that package is going to be coming. I just used my Anastasia brow pencil, BT dubs. And now I'm going in with my Glossier boy brow. Oh, I know I'm going to get a couple of questions on my little hair clips. I get questions on where I got like get the pink ones and the pink ones were actually from Glossier. They were like a gift with purchase sort of thing. But these purple clips are actually from Curology. They sent over like a little package which was really cute. They actually want to do a sponsored video with me but I feel a bit bad because I really like my ordinary stuff and like I honestly haven't been giving like Curology a shot because I really like my ordinary stuff. I'm going to actually powder my face a little bit before I put my mascara on. but I really like how the skin is looking. Hopefully it just stays like this though because I am going out after work. I feel like everything looks so good. Like even though the eyeshadow was a bit boring, I think that's fine. I don't think that they were trying to be exciting. Hey, where did that little glitter glow come from? My cheeks look so good. I love the cheek products. I actually really like everything. So I do have a Burt's Bees mascara. I feel like they had a couple of different mascara options, but I just picked up the Burt's Bees Nourishing Mascara, and this one is Classic Black. Ooh, this wand is a little scary. Hopefully this mascara holds up. My least favorite thing is like mascara that flakes and can't hold its own throughout the day. I feel like I can deal with like foundation that's falling apart because I can just like kind of blend it back in place every so often, but flaky mascara I cannot deal with. Okay, I could definitely see how this mascara is nourishing. It's like really comfortable and feels kind of soft. Like I'm still applying mascara and I can just still like brush my lashes through and it's not getting clumpy and it's not like flaking at all or drying up, which part of that alarms me because like what if it is going to like transfer, you know? So actually let me just put a little bit more of some powder underneath my eyes. I'm going to take the white shade in here. It kind of scares me a little bit. But I'm just going to pop that on the brow bone. Oh, maybe not. I have to do it to the other side now, but that was kind of a mistake. I am actually taking that white shade and popping it in the inner corner. 
just because I don't have another option. This is really cute. I kind of wish that we sold Burt's Bees makeup in stores because a lot of people do ask about clean beauty brands and like a lot of the brands that claim to be clean aren't actually clean, which is some tea to be honest. So this color right here is actually gorgeous and it is a Burt's Bees matte lipstick in the shade Liquid Honey. And I know you guys took one look at that shade and were like, that's a Chessy shade. Should I start saying my name in the videos? Like, hey guys, it's Chessy. Like, should I start doing that? Okay, where were these lipsticks when I was doing my half Glossier, half drugstore? Because this is a dupe for the Generation G lipsticks. Like, this feels exactly like them. Oh my gosh, I should have picked up more shades. This is identical to that. I just don't... Maybe Leo? Someone recently asked about like an updated... I need to stop talking. This is so surprisingly beautiful. I feel ethereal i feel like this could be wedding makeup i i was not expecting to feel this way at all based off of the reviews that i've watched but i just feel so good about myself right now like i i can't believe that this is burt's bees makeup I don't know why I'm like shook. This is really pretty. Everything is laying so nicely on the skin. I especially love the cheek products. Like that is gorgeous. Where is this glow coming from? Where? What part? I don't think that it was that sick highlight. Oh, that's cute. One of the ingredients is literally honey. Oh, it's made in the US. Is everything made in the US? Yeah, it looks like everything is even made in the US. Oh, and it looks like their little like distribution plant is in Durham, North Carolina. I don't know why I feel so close to Burt's Bees right now. Well, everything looks gorgeous. I feel really good about myself. I'm going to spray my face right now with some Urban Decay All Nighter because I really want this to last all night because I love how I look right now. So I do wanna recommend a channel really quick and I don't know what her name is. She's really beautiful and calm. Like her videos are very like calming. You feel like you're like cleansing your soul when you watch them. Her thing on YouTube is called Dirt Naturals and she only does clean beauty makeup related videos, which is really awesome. Like that's her niche. So if you are into that, I highly, highly recommend you check her out. All of her videos are so good, very informative. She does makeup so beautifully. Like her looks are really natural, but they can also be really glam too. Her videos overall are just really creative and thoughtful and well done. I they're really great and I highly, highly recommend that you guys check her out. I'm going to link her down below. I have absolutely nothing negative to say about how I look right now. Even the foundation shade ended up blending down to look perfect. So the time right now is 3.30 p.m., 3.30 in the afternoon. I get off work tonight at 10 and I am going to get drinks possibly uh, later after work. So I will probably do a check-in later this evening and I I'm committed to the check-in like I am committed to the check-in because I really am curious to see like how this makeup lasts. So so I guess I will see you back later this evening. To do a quick recap on everything that I've had on my face for all of these hours, the foundation, I really like it. I, I know I look a bit oily right now, but I think that this foundation wore very, very beautifully. I am a big fan, and, and I'm definitely going to be wearing this again. If you guys know of a drugstore that sells this, let me know, because I would want to include it in drugstore-related videos, but people get really, really weird if you title a video drugstore related and it's like from Ulta, you know what I mean? Like something like Makeup Revolution, for example, or 
Morphe. Like both of those products are sold in Ulta, which then I would consider that to be like easily accessible like a drugstore. But I don't know, people are just like weird about that sort of thing. So let me know if you've seen Burt's Bees in a drugstore so I can for sure title it as drugstore, I guess. The Aglow highlighting stick, I'm not sure how I feel about this. I, I mean, I think it looks pretty, but also I don't know what this is. Like, I don't think that this is this. I don't know. feel like it's a skip for me, especially because people compared it to the Halo Scope, and I just don't think that this is comparable to the halo scope as far as these blushes i adore these again i got it in toasted cinnamon and i got it in bare peach adore i'm going to be using them in like my everyday life for sure big fan i thought the eyeshadow was cute the concealer is a strong pass for me i don't know who they're kidding with this medium dark shade That's like fair. Like someone who was fair could use this. Like I don't, I don't know. I thought I liked the mascara, but when I kind of figured that maybe this like darkness underneath my eyes is smudging from my mascara, I don't know if I like it so much anymore. I kind of actually just assumed that it was like my under eye circles, but I don't have dark under eye circles. So I actually do think that it might be the mascara, but it looks pretty on the lashes. And then the lipstick, I'm gonna put it back on, I'm gonna reapply. I also got one of the cream stick blushes. I didn't show you guys though, I got it in Sue Sands. Isn't that pretty? I didn't wear it though because I was using powder on my face and I didn't want to mix the two, but I bet I can find some time to try it. But that is it for me today. Let me know if you guys like this video. I know you guys really do like full face videos and I have been trying to get better about doing check-ins. Sometimes it is a little bit hard for me to do check-ins because sometimes I don't do my makeup until like the afternoon and then I'm busy in the evening. And But I know you guys like that and I totally get why you like that. It's like way more helpful. But that is going to be it for me today. I plan on filming a lot of really fun videos tomorrow on my day off. So if you aren't already subscribed, definitely go ahead and do so so that you can get notified whenever I post those and hopefully I see you next time.